Hello, hello. Welcome to the Ecliptic Spiritualist channel. One of the questions that I get from clients and emails many times is one of the big questions that come periodically when things aren't moving, when things are stagnant, you keep trying to move something and it seems like there's always a counteraction to things. The one question that I ask is, do you need to remove a curse? That is a question. Do you need to remove a remove a curse? And that is a question that I get. So nobody wants to really end up in a situation where they need to have a break a curse or have someone break a curse, such as myself or something like that. But the truth is, curse breaking is a vitally important part of an everyday education for yourself with knowing if people can place a curse on you by looking at you, by psychic, and psychic attacks, different things like that. You don't even want to have to go through not knowing if it's possible because it is possible. Um, unsusp unsuspecting people wind up running a file of a curses every single day. Very unsuspected. People are just like, oh wow, does this happen? Yes, it does. Whether they've upset a touchy person, maybe on a job, a friend, anyone. Um, what happens to practice that may have a practice in the area of witchcraft or whatever area that they use to do curses um, end up on the wrong end of an evil eye. Sometimes people end up on the wrong end of an evil eye or simply stumble into a malicious spell unwittingly. Magic is everywhere. Okay, it is a topic that is more out here today because it is more mainstream, um, but it's everywhere. And we can't assume that all of that magic is friendly. Everything is in you floating around and on having escapades and different things. No. So one of the most common curses out there is called war water. War, W-A-R, water. Water, W-A-T-E-R also known as water of Mars. This curse can cause serious issues in your life, such as your health and your career. It's no laughing matter. If you suspect that someone has used war water against you, you need to act to break that curse fast, okay? And I'm gonna go over talking about a very old, well-known form of cursing and how you can go about dealing with this situation of cursing and if you find yourself on the receiving end of it. Now, what is a war water? Now, war water is a type of spell that is used for both cursing and offensive protection magic. If you're in our class, in our magical defense class or magical arts class, you are learning about protection. Those that are want to know about everyday protection for their families, for themselves, contact me on our website or my email and you can join our classes. They come up every four weeks in various topics. But you're most likely to find this spell in the South in the U.S., all over the world, U.K., everywhere. But in most recent decades, this, this spell has been found in almost every region where you find witchcraft practice. Many modern-day practitioners are aware of the war water um, as a cursing agent, but it can actually be used as a wide variety of magical applications. It can be sprinkled around your home or property to create a magical barrier against spirits. This is protection matter and magic sent against you, and it can be used to nullify curses and hexes. It can be used to render adverse, adversary powerless, um, to prevent them from harming you. And it makes an excellent addition to, uh, we call them uh, witch bottles or hoodoo bottles, talismans, and other forms of spell work. As with many forms of folk magic, which would go along with any area all over the world considered folk magic or hoodoo or whatnot, uh, war water doesn't have a single agreed upon recipe rather its recipe tends to vary widely depending on the region in which people reside in 
individual practitioners such as myself and many practitioners um, in the intent behind um, the war water. One thing, almost all war water has a common areas, common things that's inside of the water, and that is rusting iron. War water universally contains something like a railroad spike, or iron nails, or iron pins that will rust when left in water. Okay, and it may also contain ingredients such as Spanish moss, one of my favorite ingredients, vinegar, salt, and pepper. These are generally left in the jar with water and allows to form it and the rust together for about a month or so or more until you have a dark brown, almost black concoction. That's what it looks like. So how do you know if you've been cursed with war water? Okay, how do you know? Here are some of the best ways that I feel that I can tell uh, clients and about the way you can know if you've been cursed. You will find the war water jar. You'll find it. This is one of the one of the main definite ways is that you know for sure. Now it doesn't take um, pretty much like someone that's in uh, intuitiveness, but you can find this jar with rusted nails or broken glass. It can be placed around your property, your vehicle, your place of work. That's sure sign that someone has used war water against you. You've pissed off a known root worker, or hoodoo practitioner, or a southern practitioner. Okay, you've pissed someone off. That's number two. So while there's plenty of other ways that a practitioner can do things or could curse you, or someone uses someone of a practitioner to place the curse on you. Number three is you get a warning about a war water curse. This is also common than you think. It's usually for neighbors or mutual friends or guilty family members to warn you the target, warn you of the target when a mutual acquaintance has decided to curse them. Okay, you can also get these kinds of warnings from your ancestors, your spirit guides, or a practitioner that works with you, or you seek out a reading or such. They may tell you, hey, there's a curse or some hexes around you, and they was they may specifically say it was war water. Okay, and it was cast against you. Number four is you're showing signs of having been cursed. Okay, uh, there are a million different types of curses out there. Uh, you can find yourself dealing in a lot of arguments, legal issues cropping up, vandalism, complaints about things, hot-tempered family members. It can go on and on, okay? So, in saying that, check your life. See if there is some curses done against you. Those are some um, things that you want to know to look out for if it has happened to you, okay? And all things, sit down and understand that or contact myself for a diagnostic consultation to find out if it's happened to you okay so love you for watching today continue to dig deep and trust in yourself always hit that um subscribe button um also the bell for notifications share and like us on instagram facebook facebook watch as well um tiktok and join our email as well join our patreon we do self-paced classes there and master classes one-on-one coaching in the area of non-traditional magical arts all right so i love you for watching today continue to dive deep in yourself and grow and go with us all right see you next time bye bye